restoring files, folders, and VMs, is a fast, easy way to perform recoveries when the source site is up and accessible and a full failover is not needed. Restores can happen from the local journal when using Zerto for backup, pull from a remote journal when using Zerto for disaster recovery, or restores can come from a long-term retention repository hosted on-premises or in the cloud. To keep things simple, the same workflow applies to restores from both the journal and LTR repositories. In both cases, it is also possible to restore files from a VM that was previously replicated by Zerto but now no longer exists, or at least is no longer protected by Zerto. Additionally, both files and VMs can be restored directly back to their original source location. This is called an instant restore. An instant restore is ideally suited for backup and data protection use cases, the kind of routine recoveries that happen much more frequently than full application or site recoveries. When instantly restoring files directly to source, guest credentials must first be configured. These credentials grant the ZVM permission to access the original server. When performing a file restore, Zerto will create a timestamped folder in the original location. The timestamp comes from the journal checkpoint chosen for the restore. If a folder for that checkpoint already exists, Zerto will append an incrementing number on the end to distinguish the folders. Although file restores from Linux are generally supported, an instant file restore to production requires Windows. Since Instant File Restore uses VMware tools, this feature is only available when using Zerto for vSphere. However, on all supported platforms, files and folders can be downloaded individually or as a zip package. It is possible to instantly restore a file from a long-term retention repository. But note that public cloud limitations mean instant restores are not supported for cloud archives, such as Amazon S3 Glacier or Azure Archive Blobs, and a full VM restore is required instead. When instantly restoring VMs, the VM must be in a local continuous backup VPG and can only use a checkpoint from the local journal residing on production-grade storage, not a remote journal or an archive copy. VM restores are available from LTR repositories generally, but since they don't come from the journal, restores may take longer compared with instant restores. Note that directly restoring the VM to its source location does not impact ongoing protection of that VM. That is, the restored VM is an identical clone, so that existing journal checkpoints are not lost and new checkpoints continue to be written every 5 to 15 seconds as usual. For full details on supported options with instant restores, please refer to the interoperability matrix on MyZerto.